I had been in Chattanooga, Saudi Daisy area um, all my life. Then I was suddenly on my own. I was on my own in a totally new place. I uh, only had one friend. We're giving Chelsea time to show up. As a people, we sort of have this thing where we get worth from other people. And when there aren't other people, then you feel worthless. That's when the scary thoughts come. And so, What scary thoughts? Suicide. But if you walk into a building and say, hey, I want to kill myself, you know that there's going to be a vastly different reaction. It was, it was a rough time for me to find aid. I knew I was going to have to accept those thoughts and be able to admit them. But I didn't want people to know that Brock Ward was needing help. So I anonymously went to the UT Counseling Center. They were like, Brock, we want to get you on meds. We want to get you on meds. I was like, I don't want to get on meds. If I get on meds, I'm going to turn into a zombie. And they were like, that's not true. But what you have is a very serious case of quite severe depression. Hearing someone else say that, hearing someone say, you have this thing, that made it all legitimate. Once a doctor told me that, it became easier to tell other people. Hey, you're up. Let's go over what you have to do today. Homebound. I wrote it in two weeks. Something needed to be said for the people who were in this state that I was in. Imagine what it could do with people like me who need that hope desperately, who are just like going, looking for hope anywhere they can find it. We'll do a play reading. I'll invite my family, I'll invite my friends, and it'll be like a house of 30 people. But the day finally came and we had to turn away about 50 people because the lab met fire code. And the audience just adored it. But even more special than that was after the play reading. And that's when sort of messages started coming in. A young man sent me an email. He told me he had been struggling with all this stuff, but that Homebound had helped to turn him away from suicide. You're like, okay, wow, we, we, we saved a kid. We, we stopped a kid from killing himself. Um, we got to do it again. They have allowed us to have two weekends in the lab theater. My hope is with Homebound is it allows these people to come and enjoy a show, but more than anything, be able to talk about what's going on in their lives without the fear that it's something only they are experiencing. Come see Homebound, a play for nobody.